Almost nine years after it was first announced, the Halo TV series is finally on the horizon. After a brief teaser a few weeks ago, the first official trailer for the Halo series dropped at the Game Awards show. We're sure you have plenty of questions, so go ahead and get comfortable as we break down all the details and references in this trailer. I see this. As a new beginning. The trailer opens with a vista shot, an unknown city on a ringed alien planet. We can see what appears to be a solar farm here, and the entire city looks to rest beneath what I assume is some kind of protection against sandstorms or other natural threats. An unknown craft flies into frame, seemingly something new created for the show, followed soon after by Master Chief approaching this unknown obelisk, something almost certainly Forerunner. This scene seems like it's evoking a moment from Halo The Fall of Reach, the first Halo novel from 2001. In that book, in July of 2552, just a moment before Reach would fall, Master Chief and several Spartan Twos were deployed to the human colony Sigma Octanus IV. While searching the capital city, the Spartans found the Covenant had a particular interest in a large stone object in the city's museum. This would eventually be revealed to hold the coordinates for Installation 04, the Halo Ring from Halo Combat Evolved. The Halo TV series seems to be telling its own story using various elements of the game's books and other media, so maybe this artifact will be the one to lead the UNSC to Installation 04. That's all speculation at the moment, however. We then cut to another human city, one which looks much more developed and advanced than the last one. This could be a city on Reach, the world the Spartan II's called home, and the UNSC's biggest shipyard and military base short of Earth itself. Defensive turrets are placed along the city's walls, and Halberd-class destroyers are present in the sky, lending credence to this theory as well. The next shot shows Natasha McElhone as Dr. Catherine Halsey, the head of the Spartan II program. Interestingly, the show's version of Halsey seems to be a mix of various depictions of her from across Halo media. Described as having black hair in the books, Halsey was depicted as a blonde in the anime series Halo Legends. This series gives Halsey natural black hair that she's bleached. We then cut to what looks like an asteroid colony. Two such locations have prominently been featured in Halo before. The first was a former mine-turned-colony known as Eridanus Secundus, and was home to a rebel group that had once operated on Eridanus II, Chief's homeworld. The second time asteroid colonies appeared in Halo was with a location known as the Rebel. First appearing in the novel Halo The Cold Protocol, the Rubble was a series of hollowed-out asteroids connected together via docking tubes. Originally home to insurrectionists and rebel fighters, it eventually became home to the surviving colonists of Madrigal, a human colony attacked by the Covenant. We do see a bunch of connected asteroids later in the trailer, which may be the Rubble. Here we meet a new character, Quan Ah, played by Australian actress Yuren Ha. Quan is said to be a, quote, shrewd, audacious 16-year-old from the Outer Colonies who meets Master Chief at a fateful time for them both. People from the Outer Colonies are often distrustful of the UNSC and many desire independence from Earth's government. The next shot will have fans excited as it shows off the Covenant Holy City of High Charity. There are a number of distinct differences between the station's show appearance and its depiction in the games, notably the large beam of white light that runs through its central spine, but the general look of High Charity here is immediately recognizable. This is a new character, McKee. Portrayed by actress Charlie Murphy, McKee is a series original character said to be a human that was raised by members of the Covenant and has come to share their contempt for humanity. When the character was first revealed, fans were understandably confused given that the Covenant's goal is to wipe the human race from the face of the galaxy. For your destruction is the will of the gods. While it's entirely possible that McKee was raised in secret, fans will likely have to wait for the series premiere to learn McKee's full story. We're next shown a series of asteroids connected, again presumably depicting the rubble, followed by a shot of Bokeem Woodbine as Soren 066. First appearing in the short story Pariah from Halo Evolutions, Soren was once a Spartan II candidate who trained alongside Master Chief when they were children, though he would never become a full-fledged Spartan. Trained from the age of six, the Spartan II candidates were further enhanced with a series of biological augmentations at the age of 14. 
These procedures were riskier, however, and several candidates died while others were merely left twisted by their body's violent reactions to the augmentation process. Soren 066 was among those deformed by the process, and he was eventually convinced to join the insurrection, the very thing the Spartans were originally created to fight. During an attempted defection, Soren's escape craft was shot down, and he's been missing ever since. Of course, Bokeem doesn't look all that twisted here. There are cases of Spartans once deformed by their augmentations being fixed up, so it's possible Soren received medical assistance at some point. This child could be a young John 117 who perhaps wandered into an ancient rune. Alternatively, perhaps this could be a young McKee sometime prior to being raised by members of the Covenant. We then see a ton of UNSC personnel on the move in a hangar bay, presumably getting gear ready for deployment. In this shot, we can see several recognizable Halo vehicles, including the Pelican, Warthog, Scorpion Tank, and even a Mongoose. This is all of Gray's Miranda Keys, one of a few characters fans will know from the Halo games. The daughter of Captain Jacob Keyes and Dr. Katherine Halsey, Miranda is described as, quote, dedicated to understanding the technology, language, and culture of the Covenant. While she never got much characterization in the original Halo trilogy, the relationship between Miranda and her parents will be part of what the show explores. Hopefully the show can do a little bit more than the games could. The trailer then cuts to a shot featuring three more Spartans, these being Vanek 134, played by Bentley Kalu, Riz 028, played by Natasha Kolzak, and Kai 125, played by Kate Kennedy. All three are new Spartan 2s created for the show. As the trailer comes to a close, we see pelicans flying over a human city, the same one from the start of the trailer. The lead pelican here looks to have some minor differences from the majority of the other pelicans in the trailer, perhaps indicating it might be a different model. The trailer then cuts to a currently unknown character, and finally, the Master Chief going full superhero landing. The trailer doesn't tell us much about the show, but it does lend credence to a notion fans have theorized about for a long time, that the show may not follow the same continuity as the games, books, and other media. The trailer even ends with the line, I see this as a new beginning. While Halo Media is typically all considered to be part of the same continuity, the series looks like it'll be taking the elements of Halo and crafting a new story to appear to fans new and old. Will this approach be enough to free the Halo series from the usual trapping of live action video game adaptations? Fans will have to wait for the show to officially drop on Paramount Plus next year. A real quick thanks to Ian, aka Halo Cannon, for writing this rewind script for us. For more on all things Halo, keep it right here at IGN.